Hey everybody, welcome to Learning with Alliance, second tutorial. Um, so, today we're going to be discussing wall collision. You'll remember that this is our character from the last tutorial. He can move with the arrow keys. Um, we had a variable over here named speed, equaling to 5, and that means that his speed is 5. So, uh, I'll just explain what this tutorial is going to be about. Uh, this is going to be about wall collision. So a common problem in making flash games is the fact that you want your character not to walk through walls. Then again, you could be making a flash game about a ghost. But anyway, for all of you people who aren't making flash games about ghosts, uh, let's review wall collision. So what you're going to need to do is, well, you're probably going to make a new wall. You can make a wall. Uh, you can use the rectangle tool. I already made a symbol over here called wall. Here, you'll see it's just a normal mini clip rectangle. Remember that when you make your wall, it has to be a mini clip. Just a rectangle, so you'll go in. Nothing fancy, you know. No coding. I'm not trying to trick you or anything. So, let's get down to business. So. Uh, we need to give this wall an instance name of wall so that in action script we can call it wall and now let's go inside our character here and you'll see that this is the code that makes him you know move with the arrow keys and here's the code that makes him be able to pop up on the other side of the screen when he passes the edge for those of you who weren't watching the last tutorial I'll demonstrate there. You know what I'm talking about now? So, now let's take a look at what's happening right now when our character is walking around and he passes through the wall. Now, we can fix that by doing this certain thing. So, look. Um, for all of you beginner action scripters out there, uh, we're going to be learning a new action today. It's called Hit Test. Hit Test is an action which it's, it's actually a property of a mini clip, which lets you check whether it's colliding with anything. So, uh, let's go into our right if statement, our if statement for the right arrow button, and let's create a new if statement inside that if statement. Uh, so instead of doing key dot is down like we were before, we're creating a hit test if, if statement. So we're typing if this dot hit test hit test is a property you'll see it turns blue it's a keyword and then we'll open parameters for the hit test and you'll see here it tells you the X Y and shape la shape flag are the things you need to enter well that's that's possible you could use that but I prefer to sorry I press shift one too many times and you know turns on sticky keys so anyway um, if this dot hit test and then you open up parameters so I prefer to do something simpler just type in underscore root dot wall so what we did there is said that what if our character hits the wall while pressing the right button then let's open up these brackets and you'll remember action script is really strict about these brackets you always have to enter them and everything and it's like well action script can do what it wants to do and it rules over us in its crazy coding domain so anyway let's go and type in what's gonna happen if our character collides with the wall so if it's pressing the right button while it's colliding with the wall then it's probably coming from the right from the left and we want it to go back that way so what it's gonna be doing is it's gonna be moving forward see moving to the right and at the same time it's moving that's right you guys you guessed it it's moving back by pressing by typing uh, underscore x minus equals speed we're saying that it's gonna go left speed pixels speed is five so 
and if it's moving forward five pixels and it's moving back five pixels at the exact same time then you'll see it's gonna do something kind of looking like staying in the same exact place so let's see what that looks like oh and there's a common error see look at this uh, you always have to put the the correct number of parentheses this just goes to show that action script is really strict and you always have to check your syntax so now let's test our movie and see what we got and it's staying in the same exact place see I'm pressing the right button right now and it's not moving that's because it's moving to the right five pixels and then moving back at the same exact time. But you'll see that if we, for example, hit it from the left, it won't do anything. Or if we hit it from the top, it won't do anything. So we gotta do something about that. And well, of course, what we're gonna do is just duplicate that, you know, that code into all the other ones into all the other if statements for the arrow key buttons. Let's just grab all of that, press control C to copy, go down into the left if statement, and press control V to paste. And now we're gonna edit something. See right here, it's going to the left. So if it's moving left, and we don't want it to pass through, then it's gonna have to move right at the same exact time, right? So adding to the x-axis makes it go right, and subtracting makes it go left. So now we're going down to the verticals. And let's just paste it over here, and you'll remember now we're working with the y-axis, so remember to change it to the y. And see now, um, you'll remember the y-axis is kind of weird, so to subtract, subtracting from the y-axis makes you go up. So wants to go up and down at the same exact time plus you know adding to the y-axis makes it go down and now let's paste that also into the down button let's change it to the y and make it subtract subtracting from the y-axis makes it go up up and down at the same time equals stay in the same place now let's test our movie I collide to the right nothing happens I collide to the left, nothing happens. I collide to the left, uh, sorry. I collide from the top, uh, from the bottom, nothing happens. I collide from the left, nothing happens. I collide from the top, nothing happens. So you'll see we've created a fully functional wall that cannot be passed. So, um, you know, all you have to do is duplicate this to make four of them, and then your character can be trapped in a room with no way to escape. Um, so that's it for this wall collision tutorial. I just want to say that this was inspired by a request from what from 07 Pam per 07. Uh so yeah, 07 Pam per 07. Thanks for watching my tutorials. Thanks all of you guys for watching my tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be coming in the next tutorial, but you know, We'll see. What'll happen? Will happen. I'm Leo Lion. This is Learning with the Lion, and I'll see you guys next tour.